Hello, 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 everyone. How are we doing? How are we doing? Best can ever. Welcome, Jeff Keys, Dots, Danelle, Angie C, Rebstein, uh, Jeff Keys, Knock Knock, Annie B. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. No more Mr. Stanley's. No, I've doubled up the Christmas decorations instead to uh, to compensate. I'm thinking maybe I should like rotate this top one. No, hang on. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Why why the devil not? Um, how do I do like transform flip pods? Oh, there we go. Like it looks a little bit different now, kind of. I guess. Don't look like I layered up as much. Um. Anyway, anyway, there we go. Um. As he says. Oh, is that what it's supposed to be, Cam? What is Ken saying? Ah, oh, the Carlton, a classic. I'm not... I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's quite the Carlton. He is... I mean, maybe, like... I'm kind of... Because you see, like, the bits in between as well. It just loops badly. Santa doesn't know how to hit the moves. That's what I'm seeing. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. We are going to wait a few more minutes. Then we're going to get started. I'm not going to lie, okay? I was making some lunch at half two. Right, because I um, I just didn't think to have lunch. I'm making lunch. I'm like cooking. I'm making pasta, right? And it was like taking ages to boil. I was like, oh, this is taking so long. Okay, and then my phone starts buzzing. And I was like, what is... I was like, I've got 10 minutes till I need to run a show. Phil, send it outside. So I'm abandoning my pasta for you guys. So you better be grateful, okay? Better be grateful. I'm fully abandoned my pasta for this. Um, but yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got a few minutes before we get started. Um... Uh, a what? A what? A watched pot never boils, says Jeff Keys. So, so true. So true. Um, I was unfortunately the fool that was watching the pot. Um, did the show start yet, Monte? You were here just in time. We are waiting till five minutes past before we get started with the show. Um, so no, basically no is a short answer. <clears throat> a pot watch is a, a potted watch is right twice a day. Accurate. Um, hey Joe, say hello to my stepdad Jim, trying to help him sort his laptop. Hello Jim, hello, welcome to the show. Uh, hopefully you can actually carry Barry through this, because, you know, it's, it, Barry isn't, isn't, isn't the best at trivia, so, you know, if you could, like, lend a helping hand, be great. I'm sure you'd appreciate that a lot. <laughs> I'm just being mean to you now, Barry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, we got the entire chat going off for Jim there. Jim is the real star of this show. Um, anyway, 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 a few more minutes to get started. Oh, I got a busy day today. I got a lot, lot going on this weekend, um, and then obviously got a lot going on on Sunday as well. Remember, it's Sunday tomorrow for those of you in the UK. Um, so yeah, remember to be quiet for two minutes. <laughs> um, Jim, have you met Mr. Stanley? I met Mr. Stanley. Nice chap. Nice chap. Can confirm. Um, Stoss says it is my wedding today in Tan Tanzania. I don't, I don't quite believe that. I don't quite believe that because if it was your wedding, you wouldn't be playing more. But maybe you would actually. Maybe you would. Um, in which case, why am I not invited? Come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, congratulations if true. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, only Sunday tomorrow for those in the UK, says Webstein. Remembrance Sunday tomorrow. I'm not sure Remembrance Sunday. Other other countries don't really do that, that same thing. Um, <laughs> uh, right, okay. One more minute. We're powering on with the rules of the show. And then once we've done the rules, I will run you through the prizes. Uh, once we've done the prizes, we are we're just all happy. Happy days. Um, oh, I kind of got started to get a blocked up nose, which is not fun. Because obviously Tim is away in uh, Hong Kong this week. Well, this week like coming. So I'm doing everything, doing all the shows. So I can't be ill. Otherwise, I'm done. I'm done in. Um, a more themed wedding. That'd be interesting. Joe, slight bang adjustment. What do you mean? Do you not like my my fringe? I do. Yeah, I like my hair today. I've you know I've not had a chance to actually wake up yet properly. Um, I know it's three o'clock. Shush. Anyway, five minutes past. Let's get started with the show. So hello everyone. My name's Joe. This is more trivia. Now the rules of the show very straightforward. We have got six questions that I'm going to put in front of you in just a few seconds time. Your job is to answer questions quickly and correctly. The quicker you answer the questions, the more points you're going to get. And the top scores the end of today's show. We'll be walking away. This is my walking person with the following prizes. First, second, and third, 1,000 moolah each. Everyone that scores over 35,000 points will get 60 moolah each. And then there's a spot prize of 250 moolah as well for the person who is very, very lucky at the end. So there you go. Um, then the rules, those the prizes. Hopefully that makes sense. Stepdad Jim, let's get started. Here we go. Question number one. Question number one. Here we go. Now, I'm going to...
Mortis that I see. Congratulations, then. Congratulations. Hopefully, it was magical and lovely. Um, question number one. Here we go. This London building is usually known by which nickname? Is it known as the Shards, the Gherkin, or Big Ben? What's it known by? What's it known by? Snot. It's not Sam Mary, guys. Your dreams of marrying Snot are over. <laughs> um, anyway, reading the answer. It is the Gherkin, of course. 36 going on right. 21 going for the Shard and 3 go for Big Ben. No, it is the Gherkin, okay? Because it looks like a Gherkin. The Shard looks like a Shard. And Big Ben obviously being the big clock. Um, the Elizabeth Tower um, in London. We go. Question number 2. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen Skyfall. James Bond, Sky, Skyfall, released on October 26. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can see that. Um, vaguely egg-shaped, says Dot. Oh, I should have put egg on that. That would have been, would have been funny. Um, but yeah, Skyfall, 007. The last James Bond film, No Time to Die. Well, I say the last James Bond film. The last James Bond film will, with uh, Daniel Craig again, definitely. Anyway, but question number two. Here we go. Who played the baddie in this Bond film? Was it... Uh, Rami Malek, Christopher Walken, or Javier Bardem, Bardem. Go on, throw it away. Really, the answer, it is Javier, which I, I, I imagine I'm pronouncing right. 21, get them right. 34, go for Rami Malek, and 7, go for Christopher Walken. Good job if you manage to get this one correct. Um, yeah, okay, good, good job, congratulations. It has been so long since I watched Skyfall um, that I don't know if I can actually get this question right. I think I probably could. Dot says he said it right. Wow. Go on. Go on, Joe. Go, this, is, this is how we do it. Saturday vibes. I'm in there. Go on, Shan. Um, Joe is a baddie, says Snot. You know how it is. Of course, Slay. Uh, anyway, question number three. Here we go. Question three. Which martial art takes its name from the Japanese word for way of the sword? Is it? Jiu-Jitsu, Aikido, or Kendo? You said no time to die, and I immediately thought Rami. <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to tell you guys it wasn't that one. I was like, you know, that's the most recent one. Skyfall isn't the most recent one. Uh, anyway, uh, really the answer, it is Kendo. Kendo, 30 if you get that one right. 15 go for Aikido, and 16 go for Jiu-Jitsu. Um, good job if you got that one right. Way of the sword. Phew, phew. Have you ever used a sword before? Interesting. It's an interesting feeling. Um, Joe's is certainly right. No way. Jeff Keys, how dare you underestimate me like that? I am the master of pronunciation, as we all know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, question number four. Coming up after the leaderboards. Here we go. No Mr. Sandy's treat. All I got is like a, I got a cup holder, like a placemat thing. What else have I got here? I've got my mic stand, which has all my more stickers on. You know, no, nothing. No Mr. Sandy's product today. And now cut that out. Is in the lead. Followed by Microwave and Granton Girl. CT, SJP, Ice Fire, Funky Fraser, Gina B, a smart person. Urban Sabrina, best kept ever. Um, are looking pretty good on the leaderboard right now. Repstein. Repstein, is your, is your profile picture a photo of me? Hang on. Let me, let me look at this. It is. It's what... <laughs> It is. It's a photo of Walrus Joe. Walrus Joe. I'll show you guys the profile picture. The best photo ever taken of me. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> it's so bad. It is so bad. Oh my gosh. Jorus. Jorus. So true. So true. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> get out of the show. Question number four. Here we go. Oh, my says Best Ken. Best Ken, you know you love the Jorus. Question four. Do I need the image of this one? I don't. Slash is the lead guitarist for which rock group? Is it Guns N' Roses, Metallica, or Muse? Throw it away. This one is so easy. So easy question. So easy question. Such an easy question. Correct grammar there in my brain. Um, they made me draw tusks on me. Um, they made me draw those tusks on me, says Dot. Anything can happen in the MS Paint Collage show. Um, anyway, the correct answer is... Guns and Roses. Oh, come on. 48, get that one right. 10 go for Metallica, 2 go for Muse. Yeah, absolutely Guns and Roses. This one, an easy question number four, I like to think. But obviously some people, 12 people, not so sure on that one. Um, he would be amazing and either. So true. That is so true. But uh, yeah, Guns and Roses. What's the correct answer in this case? Um, Finally on the board to Jeremy TR. You'll love to see it. Um, question number five. Here we go. Then we're going to look at the leaderboards one more time. Question number five. Well, we're talking about this fella right here, Albert Einstein. 
who was historically a horrible person, by the way, just like off topic to Al to like just in general, but Einstein historically just an absolute like horrible guy. Um, anyway, question uh, number five. In 1921, this man was awarded a Nobel Prize for what? Was it a Nobel Prize for physics, chemistry, or peace? It's not saying plagiarist. Wow. Wow. We got some crazy accusations being thrown out right now. Um, the correct answer is physics. The Nobel Prize for physics, 48 get on right. Six going for chemistry and six going for peace. Definitely not peace. Um... But yeah, chemistry, I can kind of see why you might think that, but no. The correct answer was physics, so good job if you managed to get that one right. Um, let's take a look at the leaderboards one more time, and then we're going to go on to our final questions. Here we go. Look at the leaderboards. Who is in the lead? Let's find out. Here we go. Is it still going to be now? Cut that out. It is! First place, followed by CT and Frankie Fraser. So the leaderboards have stayed pretty much the same. Okay, that's fair. Um, G to beat in fourth, followed by a smart person, SJP, Urban Sabro, Granton Guy, Microwave, and Andy H. Let's take a quick scroll down the leaderboard, though. Who... Is above 35,000 points because that is that is the real question on everyone's mind right now. Um, I can't tell you. It is Mr. Hobbs, 16th place. Wow, okay. I mean, let's take on the weekend shows. We get away, less people playing. Um, not that it makes it any easier to get above 35,000 points, but regardless. Um, anyway, question number six. Here we go. Um, question number six. The Great Barrier Reef lies on the coast of which Australian state? Yes. Is it New South Wales, Queensland, or South Australia? I read that and was like, does that say Austria? And I was like, that's definitely not right if it says Austria. Um, but no, it says Australian. It's okay. Um, not me today, says Dino. Dino, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Better the next time, though, I believe. Um, revealing the answer. It is Queensland. 31 get this one right. 15 go for New South Wales and 15 go for South Australia. Australia, Queensland, good job if you managed to get that one correct. Um, that's the show though. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Who is taking home a super mega awesome crazy prize today? It is No Cut the Out taking home a thousand moolah. So is CT and Funky Fraser. Very well done there. Um, and then we've got SJ Pop Person, Granted Guy, Best Killer, Granted Girl, Rebstein, Urban Sabro in the top 10 there. But remember, you only need above uh, 35,000 points. So I can tell you that. 26th place with Ice Fire and above are going to be taking home 60 Moolah each today. 60 Moolah each. Very, very well done. Uh, congratulations. Round of applause in chat for them. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, hang on. I say unfortunately. Is it is it true? I'm going to look. I'm trying to find Let's Go For A Pint on the leaderboard, but I don't know if I can see them at all. So I feel like Let's Go For A Pint might have bailed pretty much immediately. Ste Step down, Jim. Oh, no. Okay. 44th place. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay. I've seen worse. <laughs> um, very well done. Good job. Um, 62 people today. Let's plug that into my randomizer. Uh, give that a quick save. Put that across there. Um, spam your number in chat if you want your number to be picked by the randomizer wheel for a chance to win. How much is it? 250 moolah. Spam your number in chat. Let's make it happen. My randomizer is up on screen here. Um, and I'm going to just adjust the size a little bit so it doesn't look quite as funky. Um, let's see what number is going to be picked by my randomizer wheel today. Here we go. It's spinning. I see some 52s, 36s, 39s, 57, 9. What's it going to be? Oh, oh, I saw 52. It's 25, though, is our lucky number today. 25. Who is that? It is Chantilly. Chantilly, as well as taking home 60 Moolah, you are also taking home 250. So, very well done, Chantilly. Um, let's get that written down in my side thing here. Chantilly is our spot prize today. Perfect. Well, there you go. Thank you guys so much for playing. Um, GG, everyone. Um, I haven't yet made the leaderboards for today because, obviously, I'm not working today. It's just, like, running these shows. But... Maybe I feel generous and make them this uh, afternoon if you guys are lucky. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for playing. Um, keep an eye on social media. Because maybe I'll post something. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, but I will see you all tomorrow for our next more trivia show. That's our next show, isn't it? Yes, Sunday, 3 p.m. GMT. Be there because you want to win some more moolah to donate to more streamers. To get yourself some merch, it's like a never-ending cycle. I know you want to do it. Thank you guys so much for playing. Um, I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Have a lovely rest of your afternoon. Make them pretty, please, the knowledge of power. Maybe. Maybe. Just for you. Just for you. Anyway, thank you, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.